Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Today I wanted to put together a little watercolor artist gift guide for you. So I'm going to be sharing a few of my recommendations for both beginners and more experienced slash non-beginner watercolor artists. A lot of these supplies are ones that I commonly use in my videos. Um, so I just thought putting them together in one video would be really helpful. And I've also created a blog post, which I will link below. It's going to include all of these products as well as some additional recommendations and other recommendations for other types of artists such as illustrators and sketchers. So that link below is going to include all of the links. I've included Amazon links as well as links to Dick Blick art materials. So definitely check that out if you want to take advantage of Amazon and their super fast shipping uh, just in time for the holidays. So we're going to start with the beginner supplies. One of the papers I always recommend for beginners is the standard Canson watercolor paper. You can get this super cheap. I really like it for beginners because it comes with 30 sheets in it and it's really, really inexpensive and it is 140 pounds, which is a really nice quality for a student grade paper. And the fact that it has so many sheets inside means that you can practice and not have to worry about going through expensive paper like crazy. So obviously the next thing is going to be some paint. For beginners, um, one of the student grade sets that is actually really nice are the Reeves watercolor sets. I don't have the full set with me right now, but these are just some paints from the set. They are paints in tubes. The colors that you get with the package are really nice and they include all of the common colors that you will need. If you do want to get a slightly higher grade of paint, either for yourself or for somebody who's getting into watercolor painting, um, I recommend the Windsor Newton Cotton Cotman line of paints. They are really good. These are pretty much what I use all the time. Um, so I really like the color payoff. The pigmentation is really nice and they're perfect for both beginners and non-beginners. Another option you have is to go with a palette. Um, I really like these Prima watercolor confections palettes. This one is the Essence palette. It comes in a little box like this. And you're going to get, I'll show you this one, this is the Woodlands palette, which I have used in a bunch of my recent tutorials. And it's just a little compact case. So you're gonna get this little swatch card that you fill out so you can test each color. And the palette pulls down so you can do your mixing and everything here. And you're gonna get all of the colors in pans. And Prima Watercolors has so many of these little watercolor confections kits now um, that have really nice combinations of colors. So it would be fun to receive something like this, even for a stocking stuffer. It's just a, such a good idea because there's so many different varieties. Next, you're gonna need some brushes. Um, I do recommend, even if you are a beginner, to get some nice brushes because it is gonna make all of the difference in how you experience watercolor. So a couple brushes that I really like are the Princeton Neptune line. These are a synthetic squirrel hair. No animal hair is used in creating these and they are super soft, really inexpensive for what they are and they come in a variety of sizes. For beginner sizes, I recommend sizes 2, 6 and something larger, maybe like a 10 or a 14 like this one. Next, I wanted to introduce you to masking fluid. If you haven't seen masking fluid already, this could be really good in a beginner's arsenal of art supplies because it can be used for so many different applications. And finally for beginners, I'm gonna plug my book Watercolor With Me in the Forest because it is such a um, helpful book for beginners as well as non-beginners. And it's going to kind of teach beginners um, different ways of painting. I cover wet on wet, wet on dry, ink and wash, and painting fur. So definitely check this out in your local bookstore and you can also get it on Amazon as well. Okay, let's move on to non-beginners. Um, so more advanced watercolor painters who would really appreciate any of the following gifts. The first one being some nice high quality paper. This is the Arches cold pressed 140 pound paper, super high quality. Um, if you gift this to somebody, they will be super pleased because it is more expensive, but it is 
definitely a higher quality paper. So somebody who is experienced with watercolor would know what this is and would just love to receive this. For somebody who does watercolor, a good present is always brushes, higher quality brushes. Um, these silver black velvet brushes are really popular and I actually recommend them for beginners as well, but advanced artists can use them equally well. And then I have a Cotman flat brush here, which is a little bit higher quality as well. Something else that's always handy are these fine permanent ink pens. Um, there are a couple different choices that you can make. These ones here, these tan color ones, are the Sakura Pigma Micron pens. You can get these in a pack of three, I believe, and they come in different sizes. These are an Archival ink quality, really, really nice, really good for doing line detail and stuff like that. And it's always nice to have a replenishment, so that's a good stocking stuffer idea. And there's also these Tombow pens. This is the Tombow drawing pen, which again, they come in different sizes. The smaller point ones are really tiny and really good for outline work. Um, and then you have the Tombow calligraphy pens, which are more of a brush pen tip. Um, and those come in really handy as well, especially if you have somebody who likes to do watercolor and calligraphy together. Another thing you can consider is getting a higher quality paint. You can get the Winsor & Newton Professional line of paint. Daniel Smith watercolors are really, really nice. Um, the Core watercolor, this is just the one I had handy uh, because I've been doing a lot of gold painting. This iridescent gold is such a nice addition to any watercolor paint collection. All of those, again, linked below in that link that I'm gonna share with you. If I think of more as I go, I'll add them to that blog post. Next, this one is a Tombow Mono, bleh, Tombow, Mo, Tombow Mono drawing pencil set. It comes with six different pencils in different shades, and it also comes with the Tombow Zero eraser, which is one of my favorite, all-time favorite erasers. It's like a pencil, and it's got a really, really fine tip on it so that you can just get those really fine lines. Um, pencils are always good to have for initial drawings and even just for sketchers. Another pen you might want to consider is a Posca um, Uniball Posca paint pen. These come in different colors. I recommend getting something white because it will come in really, really handy with watercolor painting because the white is usually non-existent in watercolor painting. So adding it back with a white gel pen or just a white paint pen like this would be really nice. This is the 0.7 millimeter tip. So it is a finer tip, um, but they come in different sizes, different colors, and they make really good additions. Something else that would be a great gift idea is a travel journal. This is a travel sketchbook, travel log by hand book, and it's nice because it could fit in your pocket. It has a ton of pages. Um, it's great for sketching out ideas. You can also use watercolor in it because the paper is pretty thick. So there's that one. And then another one I recommend is the handbook field watercolor journal, which is a nice, I like the eight by eight shape, but the paper in it is really nice and thick. Um, I've done a couple of tutorials on this paper, but it's really nice and thick and it's a really nice quality paper for a travel journal. Finally, something that every artist could use are a really nice set of colored pencils. So these are the Faber-Castell um, artist quality pencil crayons or colored pencils, whatever you want to say. Do you guys say colored pencils or pencil crayons? I always say pencil crayons. Um, anyways, this is the Polychromos 36 color set. And this is a really, really nice set to receive um, for Christmas. You can use pencil crayons with your watercolor. You can just use it for sketching, um, but yeah super nice gift. So I think that was all that I wanted to share with you guys. Again, if I think of anything else or if I've missed anything, check the blog post below because it will all be there. And I hope you enjoyed this gift guide. If I missed anything, um, let me know. If there's something on your list that wasn't on here, leave it below. Maybe it will give other people some ideas. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps me out and I hope to see you in the next one.